As an explanation system, I am Mr. Prasad, would like to deliver my message to the media that comments your cheats their client after selling insurance of how many contains. As I was loyal customer of Comensua for last 10 years, in a tragic event, I lost my house in the fire on 7 October 2009. I was left with no home to live in. So today is the uh, 15th of uh, March, uh, which is taking some photographs of the main house. On 8 October 2009, the incident was reported to the Comensua and on 9th of October 2009, Asesa arrived for inspection. On his inspection, I was advised not to enter the building, reason being that building might collapse. Asesa told me he will organize my accommodation with Comensua. One hour later, Asesa rang me and told me that I can find a hotel for two weeks and Comensua will reimburse my money if they approve my claim. The word if did not suit to me, so I decided to live with my friends for two weeks. After two weeks, no alternative accommodation was arranged by Komunsua. I had no choice, so I came back to my property. When I was living in my main house, I kept on pushing the assessor for my accommodation. And he kept on telling me that he cannot do anything because Komunsua has not approved my claim. On 16th November 2009, the SSR rang me and said I have to upgrade my policy if I want to rebuild my house. At which point I was left with no choice but I had to upgrade the policy. In conscious booklet policies advertisements, it does not state or show anywhere that if any event occurs, you have to upgrade the policy to higher premium to get the approval for claims. On 16th of November 2009, my claim was approved and I asked them for accommodation. Again, as answer they told me, not yet, it will cost insurance company too much money. On 17 December, the assessor came to my property to drop some papers and advise me they are closing the file for the Christmas breakup. When I asked about the accommodation again, he said, hang on, I will make a call to go into a now. He walked away a bit from me and saying, dark man living in dark, what about his accommodation during the Christmas breakup? Before he left, he also told me, don't go inside the house or you will be dead and there will be no Christmas for you. Comments who are teachers, their staff, case managers, assessors, so they can give their clients or customers this kind of greeting in their Christmas breakup. After Christmas breakup, uh, the assessor rang me and asked me that I have to sign the document with CJ Duncan who were their authorized builder. And when I signed the document, they did not tell me when the building work will be started. On 15th of March 2010, CJ Denton workers banged on the gate and asked me to open the gate. When I opened the gate, they told me that they will demolish the roof for rebuilding. They did, they did not even leave a little bit for even cooking and Washing. When they started demolishing, they put big signs on front of the fence for health and safety, danger, and unauthorized person not permitted even though my family and I was still living inside the house. We were suffering from dust and rain, etc.